spin it like Hambo. When I'm flying on the jungle, cook up halfway crust up. When I spin, I fight the night. On the mic, I'm like Jack and a queen. We gon' pop out the heavy and peace. Me and Amy, the nastiest team. We act kind of like I've been preach. Talk this thing, we gon' pop and block your jaw. We gon' have a pocket monster to your spot. Baby, I'm a rock star when I'm on. Now I'm finna scream, con, 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 con. Alright, guys, so today I'll be. Today I'll be showing you guys Hit and why he's actually pretty good for his price and just who his character is basically. But first off, his kit doesn't look too good, or I've used it for it doesn't feel too good, but it actually plays really well if you know how to combo with it. Alright, so his first move, Death Blow. It's a combo extender, you can use it to oh you can knock him back and then combo extend off of it, it's pretty good. His next move is uh Time skip Molotov. I think it's pretty self-explanatory from the show if you watched it. He disappears and he basically barrages. Nice combo extender. Deadly intent. It's a counter, so you're gonna need to get up close to a person. It actually lasts for a decent while. It's pretty good. Does 10 damage. Pretty nice counter. It's not as busted. Beast Gohan's counter. I saw its comments on the last video pertaining to that. That 50 damage counter is crazy. I know. And then so, his last move, time lag, it's basically, so he's a clone of you there. And then so, yeah, it just takes a little bit and then you reappear and it's basically a mini time skip Molotov. Okay, so now there's a combo you can do basically, let's use a wall combo dummy for this. Alright, so, because I don't want to kill the other dummy. Alright, so, basically, yeah, I'm pushing, bro, pushing, bro. Alright, so, alright, so, you start off with a time skip Molotov. M1, 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 hit him. You could theoretically time lag into this, as if they're stupid, they won't, they'll try and attack the clone, but it's not a very good combo, it doesn't hold up too well. You can still combo, but the like the first two segments of it will combo extend. It leaves them with a good 40% HP left if you actually manage to land all of his moves. So yeah, here's a, here's a more full combo with um his counter with it too. All right, so an optimal combo basically for hit right here with this counter included is so deadly intent. Alright, so a full combo that puts all of his moves on cooldown are, right, so, Deadly Intent, Death Blow, Time Skip Molotov, missed it, but, oh well, and then so, let's do that, it's pretty good, nice high frame too. I didn't use Time Skip Molotov right, but if I did, it'd be pretty good. Alright, gonna cut that out. Alright, so anyways, for his awakening, it's actually pretty good, but it lasts, it's such a short awakening. Let me kill this guy real quick, hold up, let me cook. Alright, let's go. I can just waste all my moves right here, so we're good. Alright, so, his awakening is actually really good. Alright, so, his first move, stride, it's like, Basically like a walk past the opponent. It's, it's a big anime move. Alright, so then time skip. It's like a shorter version of his that doesn't attack, and then time skip counter. Alright, I'm gonna have to rewig him. Oh quick, bruh. Hold on, let him cook. Alright. It actually does a good bit of damage. See look at that. Back to him. This does a lot of damage. So yeah, he's pretty good.
GG's, man. Get, get, get.